Hi there, if you're Atlas here. And here we are in Parsha's Kitabo. And in this week's Parsha, we start off with something super exciting. A parade! dun da 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 Can you imagine the entire Jewish people taking their first harvest and putting them on their shoulders in beautiful baskets, parading through the streets? There's music, and the people on the sides are saying, hey, welcome! It's a huge scene, and you have so many Jewish people gathering together, and it's so super exciting. This is called Bikurim. This is featured first in this week's Parsha. And it's so exciting because what is happening is every single Jewish person who has a farm, who's harvesting, takes their first produce of the seven special species that are particular to the land of Israel. Even the king participates in this amazing mitzvah with the Jewish people, with music, and it's a huge, beautiful scene. Now, beside the fact that it seems super lovely and super fun, I mean, I would want to do that. What is it all about? Well, we're bringing the first of our fruits. When they first have the harvest, what they will do is take a string and tie it to the first of the fruits to make sure that they understand that those are the first fruits that have grown. So then they'll take their grapes, for example, and they'll bring it to the Beit HaMikdash and they'll have a whole ceremony there and they'll be given as a gift to God and God will give them to the Kohanim. Now, my grapes look pretty great, but God doesn't eat my grapes. So what is the point of this mitzvah? And even more important for us today is what does this have to do with us? Now, I know you've done something great. I know you've accomplished so many things. Think of the last great thing that you've accomplished. On the way to that goal, there's been so many pieces and so many parts and so many things that you've had to work on. And there's been so many people who've loved and support you and helped you in every single thing that you do. I mean, maybe it was your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, that random guy that helped tutor you, whatever it is. There are so many people along the way that help us reach that goal. And it's exactly the same thing that we see with Bikor. We work hard, and when we have that accomplishment, we're so excited. And what happens? We forget. We forget every single person, that, the people that contributed, the people that helped us, the people that supported us. When we have Bikurim, we stop and we say, thank you. Thank you, Hashem. I couldn't have done this without you. Yes, I did my part, but you control the world. You made it rain to make my fruit grow. You made this happen. Can you imagine if when people accomplish something great, they remember all the amazing people that supported them. And that's what we can learn from Bikurim, that when we succeed, we gotta remember where we came from because they succeeded also. We can't do anything alone. We're a part of a beautiful nation and a beautiful community and we support each other. We need to look back and say, I am where I am today because of all of the people before me. And when we do that, we make ourselves different. We make our relationships different. And hopefully going into Rosh Hashanah, we can look back on this entire year and say thank you. Thank you for contributing and thank you for making me who I am. And that's definitely worth a parade. Shalom.